So what I'm going to do is just talk to you a minute about um, your posture. Now I'm really well supported here, but I always say I want to sit very square and as though I'm sitting on a horse. So with your seat underneath very well supported, I've got my legs up, which is my preferred stitching position. Otherwise I'd have my feet on the ground on a footstool so that you're not gripping the back of your leg on your seat. So now next thing, what am I going to do next? Okay, I am going to show you how I'm going to approach this. So this is a running hair design that you can see on our website and these are the walls and they're all stuck down onto a piece of card with double-sided tape. You can do that yourself and what you need to do first of all is to find the ends of the wool that you pull and this is a huge problem for people because these are in skeins and people always want to grab the little thread that's sticking out that's about half an inch long and actually you need the longer thread so you can see some of them there so all I do is just give them a shake and then just take your hand in between a finger in between all these skeins and you'll find this little thread that's hiding I hope I find it <laughs> yes here it is um, and there it is and I just pull them out one at a time, that one's gone underneath the paper, and just make sure you have them so that they sit on the arm of your chair or on a table. I just like them on the arm of this chair. And then you can just pull them as you need them. And if you test them, you'll usually find that the thread runs smoother one way than another. And with Appleton's wools in recent years, they've actually run smoother coming away from the wrap skein towards the little tail. So that is the direction. If you're having a single thread, you would put the knot in the end you pulled out. So that's my top tip. Now I'm going to just try and find this one thread here and show you how to thread the needle and get started. So there's the knot in the end and then I take the length of thread to my elbow, find my scissors, hurrah, and snip that off. Now when you snip it off, remember to leave a little tail on the end because otherwise you'll lose that. So I thread the needle like this as we did the other day and then what I'm going to do is just show you where I'm starting and that is up here in the top left corner. Now, I've put the cling film or plastic over my work. This is often reused plastic that's wrapping magazines or something like that. And you just make a little window so that you can work nicely. And my hand is going to be resting on here quite a lot of the time. And I really want to keep this really nice and fresh and clean. So all you do next is you cast on in the usual way for crawl work, which is a knot on the top and then three little stitches. And you can hear that lovely hollow sound, which means that the work is on the frame properly. Now, I'm going to start up there. So that's within an inch of where I've cast on. And I'm just going to show you how tight that is and then say goodbye and good night. <laughs> 